In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best binds for every controller. Having optimal binds and controller is crucial because it'll make your building, editing, and aim a lot more efficient. The best optimal binds are binds that minimize finger movement, which will then lead to a faster reaction time. So if you want optimal binds, then this video is for you. We're going to be going over the most optimal binds for claw, non-claw, paddles, and center grip players. These are all going to be binds I found from other pro players or binds that I've used myself. Real quick though, 85% of you guys aren't subscribed, so let's make a deal. If you use any of the binds in this video and they help your gameplay drop a sub and we're trying to hit 150k by the end of the year quick disclaimer though some actions that are binded in the general section may not also be binded in the editing and building section that's just for the video though so when you're applying these binds don't forget to bind all actions in each section so for example if i have sprint only binded in the general section make sure when you're putting these binds on yourself you don't forget to also add that same sprint bind to building and editing also you don't need to copy every single bind in this video the bind placement of actions like place marker map inventory honestly don't matter too much and it's really just up to you the main binds i want you guys to focus on copying is jump switch mode edit reload such interact and pickaxe we're going to start off with claw players if you use claw and xbox controller then use these binds right stick for your jump use a to crouch y for your pickaxe then use b for your switch mode when it comes to edit binds use rt to select lt to confirm and rb to reset then lastly edit building should be set to the left stick here's a quick run through of the binds as you take a look at these remember what i said about binding all the actions into each section Now, if you're a claw player, but on a PlayStation controller, here's what your bind should be looking like. Next to jump, square to reload slash interact, bind your left stick to pickaxe. For your switch mode, you want to bind that to circle. For your edit binds, use R1 to select, L2 to confirm, L1 to reset. And finally, triangle to edit building. Again, here's a quick run through of these binds, and instead of constantly pausing, just put the video in 0.5 speed so you can see all of these as I scroll through. Alright, now for two paddle controllers, we're going to start off with Xbox. Then if you're interested in getting an Xbox controller that has two paddles, I recommend trying out the Xbox Elite, a Scuff, or a Power A Fusion Pro. For your jump, bind into your right paddle and bind your paddle to your D-pad. The reason you want to do this is because having a paddle bind into your face button is pretty much a waste since it's easier to reach the face buttons than the D-pad. Why for your pickaxe, our switch mode is going to be our second paddle, which is also going to be bind to the D-pad. For your edit binds, have RTS select, RB to confirm, and LT to reset. Your actual edit building bind is going to be set to left stick here's a run through of all the bonds remember bonds like place marker map emote don't really matter so you don't got to worry about copying those just the important ones Now for the best two paddle PlayStation controller binds. If you're interested in getting a PlayStation controller that has two paddles, some good ones are the Scuff Infinity, the Astro C40, or you can just purchase some bad buttons for your controller. So for our PlayStation controller, again, we're going to have jump binded to a paddle, and then our paddle should be binded to the D-pad, touchpad to reload slash interact, triangle for pickaxe, and our second paddle is going to be our switch mode. The edit binds are going to pretty much be the same as the others, and then left stick to edit building. Now here's a quick run through of all of these binds. Okay, now for my standard grip players, you're gonna wanna have your right stick binded to jump, X to reload slash interact, Y for your pickaxe, B for your switch mode, for your edit binds, these don't matter too much because as a standard grip player with no paddles, you should have auto confirm edit set to both. Your edit building bind though should be left stick. Here's a run through of all the binds. If you're a PlayStation player, you should bind sprint to your touchpad. For anyone that uses four paddles like me, I recommend copying my binds since I use four paddles as well. Jump is bind to my D-pad, which is a paddle. I use Y for sprint, then I use a paddle to interact. Not gonna lie though, you might be better off using a paddle for sprint than a face bind for your interact bind. My pickaxe is bind to B, but this is a paddle as well. The reason I binded my paddle to this face button is so when I have my inventory pulled up, I can just press my paddle to exit out. My switch mode is binding to my left stick, but some of you may prefer binding your left stick to edit, then your paddle to switch mode. LT is my confirm bind, RB is my reset, then I use a paddle to edit here's a quick run through of my binds as we get through these i'm going to show you guys my xbox accessories app as well that way you can see my exact paddle binds
Okay, so for my paddle binds, my top left paddle is edit, my bottom left paddle is pickaxe, top right is jump, and then the bottom right is reload slash interact. I have my trigger lock set all the way down to the lowest setting, and I also have my trigger dead zone on the lowest setting. That way, my trigger activates the second I press it. I got some gameplay for you guys on these binds, but real quick, I want to give a shout out to Mason. I appreciate the support. If you want to shout out my next video, comment code BayNins three separate times. But sit back, grab some water, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you want to see me do a hand cam with my four paddles, feel free to check out either one of these videos.